You know, what an exciting um, education day, you know, like I said, post game, it's just, we're so grateful for all the, the teachers and administrators and principals and, and all of the VCU athletic staff that creates um, an education day like we had today. Um, there's so much energy and excitement in the arena um, and it gives us an opportunity to, to remind our players, hey, we were, we were once these, these young kids too, these young boys and girls, and what does it mean to, to be a VCU you know, women's basketball player, you know, and I'm just excited. These are our captains, um, and I think, you know, the leadership that they've shown this year, you know, when it's been a difficult um, season, um, but to come out and, and be able to handle and learn lessons and, and earn a great win over, we know, a very, very good team um, against LaSalle today. So very excited for us to, to get the W and, you know, just awesome environment with all the Richmond Elementary School's kids here too. All right, uh, first of all, congratulations, ladies, on the win tonight. Well, this morning. <laughs> um, first up, Grace, um, how did it feel to get your career hat today? Really good. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, uh, Coach, obviously, um, you ended this game on an 11-0 run. Uh, the Sal pretty much last like, seven minutes and 30 seconds of this game, they were scoreless. Um, talk about um, the team defense um, in those uh, final seven minutes of this game. Yeah, we talked, um, you know, one of the things that I think is, is really been a maturity with this team is that they keep wanting to get better and they keep buying into to the game plan. And we, we talked a lot about how we were going to pressure uh, the three-point line and, and how we were going to do it together. Um, and then you look at that, uh, that stat sheet and, and you can see that I think our defense had, um, you know, had a huge impact on the game today. Um, and I thought these guys did a great job of talking and, and really, you know, taking away that three-point line, which we know is, is a key for, for LaSalle. And also, there's always a, a, a tail of each quarter. Obviously, in that second quarter, um, shot 18%, and then all of us, you know, coming back on that third quarter, scoring, uh, that scoring for so 53%. What was the message to your team at halftime to kind of get, um, get their back on? <laughs> um, the message at halftime was a little more intense than Coach Boyle is usually um, at halftime. Would you say, guys? Yes. Yeah. 100%. Um, I just, I think that uh, our team um, is very talented. Um, and I want them to make sure that when they step onto the floor, um, that they play with that at attack mindset. Um, and so I think was was challenging them on the offensive side. To, to be aggressive and, and to move the ball and to shoot their shots. Um, and absolutely love the way that they responded. It was, it was great. And uh, how about the uh, uh, force 23 turnover in this game? What was your thoughts on, uh, on that performance? Jim, can you want to talk about our yeah. defensive pressure? Um, <laughs> we've been focusing on playing hard defense regardless of how we're playing on offense. So that was our main um, thing to just continue to work hard on defense regardless of what's going on. And with a victory like this um, today, what's kind of, what could be like the takeaway uh, going into the next game? Sam? <laughs> um, I guess I would say just continuing to get better. That's what we do every day when we go into practice. I know we have a quick turnaround, so just taking lessons from this game and moving forward with those. I've got a couple of questions. So, Coach, the three have been sitting up here. Sam was plus 11 today. Janique is plus 15. Grace is plus 7. To have your three captains kind of deliver when they're all three on the court, how does that, how does that help energize the rest of the team? Yeah, I think um, it's remarkable. I think that's. Uh, I think those numbers speak for themselves, and they're really a credit um, to. I think the effort that these guys put in off the court. Um, they're in the gym, getting up their shots. They're watching film. They're eager to watch film. They're trying to to make sure that they are doing everything from a mindset standpoint to to really go out there and not only play their game but also lead our team. Um, and he said, you know, we, there's been games that have been really close and we haven't gotten the results that we wanted. Um, and how do you respond? Well, that response is really dictated by your leaders. Um, and then these guys, you know, wanted to practice. They wanted to, to make sure that we were trying everything we could do to get better. Um, and I think it's a sign of how strong our culture is. And the leadership that these guys are putting into the season is, is great.
for Janika and Bryce. Obviously, you know, the last two games, y'all two have had to kind of shoulder some of the ball handling and stuff. Bryce, you've been averaging just over about 10 points now the last three games. Janika, you had a season high five assists last game, you had four assists again today. How has kind of y'all's mindset changed and kind of stepping up and, and kind of filling the void without Sarah? Just knowing that we have to step up and um, that our team needs us and continuing to lead, um, just doing whatever I can to help my team in any kind of way. So, Yeah, I think our jobs changed a little bit as far as handling pressure and running the offense, but um, we're doing our jobs well, and that's, that's all we can do. Thank you. Thank you.